Hi guys, welcome back to Random Lifestyle Vlog. How are you doing today? So let me tell you this. I mean, I don't know how about you, but I do love browsing through Fragrantica and like other fragrance websites. And I do love finding those like hidden gems, like, you know, fragrances that don't really drag too much attention. And then you just find something and it has those like amazing reviews and then you get it and then it's still good, okay? Because it's not always the case. Sometimes you get those reviews and uh, the product is just like, you're wondering like how that happened. How did that happen that people actually like it? But let me tell you, I did manage to find something. And if you think that uh, Pascal Morabito was cheap, then you know nothing, okay? This is, this is like full on cheap, okay? So the brand is Jean Artes. I think this is how you should pronounce it, ish. Like I, I'm not going to pretend I speak French. And I have four fragrances from two lines uh, from this brand. So yeah, let's jump in. So I'm going to start with uh, this line, which is a Love Generation. Uh, I think this is supposed to be targeted at, at a little bit like younger audience, but don't feel disheartened by that. Uh, these fragrances are not like um, juvenile at all. Uh, at least not the ones I have, okay? Uh, so the first one, which is Love Generation Mystic, is quite often compared uh, on Fragrantica to Olympia by Black Rabanne. And I have to tell you, I kind of know why. Def there's definitely like certain like similarity, like similar vibe. Like these fragrances are not like identical. They're not like one-to-one -one similar, nothing like that. But there is a similar vibe to them. So I have to tell you, I actually prefer this one over the original Olympia by Paco Rabanne. It has this really interesting hazelnut in it. It is so good, really. So the notes here are top notes, sparkling orange, pink pepper, hazelnut. Then we have jasmine, orange blossom and ginger in middle notes. And then base notes, vanilla, sandalwood, cashmere, wood and amber. And I read you the notes from the packaging because notes on Fragrantica are completely different or maybe like, not like completely different, but uh, substantially different. Uh, so I'm just going to focus on what actually says on the packaging because I think they kind of know what they included in this fragrance, right? But this is really pretty. It's really pretty if you like uh, Olympia by Paco Rabanne or that kind of vibe. This is definitely something you should try. Uh, and it's so cheap, like you can't really go wrong with that one. Also, the hazelnut note, it's definitely there. So you kind of have to like uh, the nuttiness in your fragrances. Okay, moving on, the next one, uh, Love Generation Rock. So uh, I have to admit that I think I prefer the bottle of the Mystic fragrance it's actually much more simple and i think when you have something inexpensive it's better if you just go in a simple way uh this is the um love generation rock bottle it uh, i don't think it looks that bad from afar but when you just see it up close it's just you can tell that this is not an expensive fragrance okay the fragrance though this is so unique i mean i don't i don't think i know any other fragrance like that it's a little bit soapy it's like soapy, okay? It's it's soapy. I'm not going to lie to you, but in a sexy way, like sexy soap. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if, that, if that's even a thing, but it, it is sexy and it's definitely soapy. It's like this clean scent. It's not, it's not really giving me any headache, but I think that to some people it might be a little bit headache inducing, but definitely something completely different to like anything else in my collection. So let's have a look at the notes. The top notes are saffron, thyme, mandarin orange then middle notes lang lang lily and orchid and then base notes vanilla tonka bean brazilian rose, rosewood and oak such a unique fragrance i don't really know why this is actually so soapy um honestly this is such a unique fragrance but not necessarily i mean is it a safe fly by i mean i don't I'm not sure if it can go wrong for like a fiver. Uh, so I would probably say like for a fiver, anything would be a safe blind buy. Uh, but uh, this is definitely something you might want to try before buying. There were some comparisons to the fragrances I do not know. So I'm not really going to uh, kind of try and compare these because you know, obviously I don't really know them. Okay, so the two other fragrances uh, in this haul are Gui Pure line. And we have the original Gui Pure and Silk, and this is a Gui Pure and Silk uh, Havana Mon. So these are the two fragrances. And here I'll be able to give you some comparisons, okay? So let's start with the original Gui Pure and uh, Silk. And, um, okay, the bottle. Ooh, 
I dropped it. Um, yeah, what do you think about that, guys? <laughs> I can't really tell you that I like uh, bottles like that. It's very kind of, I mean, it's supposed to be like quite, I think, oriental, but it's just, mm, I'm not a fan, okay? Also, I don't really like the fact that it's super wide and it takes a lot of space on your like uh, vanity. Uh, and I mean, if you have like only a couple of fragrances, then that's fine. But if you have like a proper collection, then it's just really uncomfortable. So this fragrance has been compared quite a lot to Hypnotic Poison by Dior. Again, I kind of see what, where people are coming from here because there are certain similarities, although I don't think this is like one-to-one -one, uh, comparison. I think uh, the first fragrance I mentioned is actually more similar to Olympia than this to Hypnotic Poison. So the notes here are, and if you are familiar to Hypnotic Poison, you probably see some similarities. So the top notes, Sweet Almond, Coconut, Licorice, Angelica. Middle notes, Heliotrope, Frangipani, Cloves, Indian Jasmine, Orange Blossom, Mimosa, Bulgarian Rose. And then base notes, Vanilla, Sandalwood, Musk and Oak Moss. So definitely there is a certain similar similarity to Hypnotic Poison, but this is not that much in your face. This is much more, I would say, blended, much more like gentle, closer to your skin. It does not have like crazy sillage. Uh, so this is something that will be closer to your skin. Uh, if uh, the original Hypnotic Poison is giving you a headache, then try this one it's definitely much more i would say generally likable i think i do love hypnotic poison don't get me wrong and i do prefer hypnotic poison over this one but i'm kind of guessing that if you kind of like the hypnotic poison vibe you like those bitter almonds uh the licorice note if you like all that and you kind of for some reason cannot stand uh, like how powerful the or the, the, the the original hypnotic poison is then maybe this could be a good alternative and if it's not then again you won't really break the bang anyway with this so um yeah i mean this one is actually quite good too is it my favorite no i still think i'll be using hypnotic poison because i do really like that powerful kind of scent uh but definitely something i could recommend um for someone to try so let's move on to the last fragrance here this is the bottle i think do you know i think i actually preferred this one then because this one with the silver kind of thing also it's very like um cheap plasticky it's like a very cheap plastic thing so um yeah that does not really help but anyway i mean for that price i can't really complain okay if something that's super expensive has like super tacky bottle then i might be a bit irritated but with this i can't really I can't really complain, right? So the notes here are uh, top notes, lang lang, blood orange, bergamot. Then we have middle notes, milk, honey, orange blossom. And then base notes, praline and patchouli. Don't be afraid of uh, patchouli. It's not really that strong. But this fragrance, this is actually good, okay? This is actually really good. And then some people actually say this is similar to Jean Paul Gaultier Scandal. I mean, there is honey in it. There is honey note. Uh, there is some uh, blood orange. So not orange blossom, but you know, some a little bit of like the kind of citrusy vibe. But I don't really find this like um, particular similar. So many people actually compare this fragrance to Jean Paul Gaultier um, Scandal, uh, and I kind of, I mean, there is this honey note in here, right? And I think you kind of get like a similar-ish vibe but it's quite distant i mean i wouldn't really say that this is similar at all it's like a very pleasant scent it's uh, kind of it's not again not that much in your face uh, compared to scandal for example but to me this fragrance has its own like kind of dna i wouldn't really say that this is like a lighter version of um scandal for sure it's a little bit different it's very like cozy it's very yummy it's just so like almost like calming you know i really really like the scent i wish it had like a bit better bottle or like at least like not that white i mean uh, but then i really really like this one i think this one is actually my favorite out of the whole collection uh and uh, then probably this one would be my least favorite because you know this literally smells a little bit like a lighter version of um hypnotic poison um okay so these are the four jean artist fragrances what do you guys think have you tried any of those uh or not uh or maybe you tried some different fragrances from this brand uh if so i would love to know your thoughts um do you have any recommendations uh i'm really actually curious about this brand so far it, it looks really good um, and 
I would definitely like to try some more fragrances from this brand. I mean, why not? I mean, for like for like a fiver, it seems like a like a bargain, right? <laughs> uh, anyway, uh, this is everything from me today. Thank you very much for watching. For more fragrance-related content, check those videos on my left side. I'm going to see you very soon. Take care. Bye.